James Foster joins us after uh, a nail-biting afternoon at the ATS Bowl, waiting to uh, know whether we get on or got off. But uh, we didn't get on, but we got the point we wanted, James. Yeah, it was um, a strange day coming here expecting to play 40 overs of cricket. Um, I mean, it was the outfield was pretty wet when we got here, but you thought, no, it's, it's fair enough. But then that deluge we had was obviously been an absolute shocker, and as a result, we, can't, we couldn't get on. I mean, there was a lot of waiting around. To be fair, the lads were pretty calm. I mean, um, there's not, uh, only so much you can do, isn't it? And um, I guess it was quite handy having Wimbledon going on, so watching a bit of Murray. And um, look, we've got the point. No, that's It was all out of our hands today. Uh, pleased to qualify, absolutely delighted to qualify. Um, I think we've hustled a lot this in this competition. Um, obviously, after the first game, which was probably one of the worst performances we've been involved in in a 2020 uh, team, um, but we had a good chat after that. We practiced in hard. Paul Grayson, Matt Walker, Chris Silverwood, all the all the you know fitness team, and no, we, we've worked very hard, and uh, we've we've managed to qualify for quarterfinals, which is what it was all about. It's what we wanted to do. And um, I've got no idea we're playing at this moment in time, but whoever we pl come up against, they're going to be a good team, and we're going to have to play very well to beat them. Yeah, well, obviously we've got to be on top of our form, um, whoever we play, but they are just knockouts now, and it's just literally one game at a time now, isn't it? Yeah, it's exciting, it really is. I mean, I guess in theory, we probably say we're underdogs, finishing third in, in our group and uh, getting through, so... Um, I mean, who knows who we're going to play, but, um, you know, it's, it's exciting when you get to knockout stages. Obviously, it's, it's all on the day, and, um, you know, a bit of brilliance can, can win you a game. But at the moment, we've, we've, I mean, especially the last two games we played against Middlesex and Kent, I thought we were very good, and I thought the way we bowled and fielded against Kent was probably one of the best performances that, that, that we put in. Also, the energy around in the field was outstanding. Yes, indeed, and I think towards those closing games in the group, there was pressure on us, wasn't there? We, we needed the right results. We showed that we could handle it, and that's the sort of uh, character you need to take into the uh, competition of what's left the quarterfinals, semifinals, and hopefully the final. Yeah, I mean, it's pressurised games. I mean, they're all pressure, but in particular the last few when you knew that you couldn't afford to slip up. So the previous two wins were, were excellent wins in, in, in tough environments. So in a way, you could say that we've got a bit of experience already playing those kind of knockout games. Um, so I guess both bo well for the quarter-final but it's all in the day mate as, as, as you know in 2020 cricket um, a bit of brilliance from a certain individual can just sway a game Yes indeed and uh, just looking ahead to the last couple of months of the season beyond 2020 county championship and again um, nobody in this division has really uh, what shall I say run away with the division I mean Northamptonshire did at this stage last season but they faltered um, it really is wide open, and I guess uh, with Harbour Jan coming to help underpin what we hope will be a promotion uh, push, uh, the boys are also confident of doing well there. Yeah, I mean, Harbour Jan seeing is an absolute well beater, simple as that. He's a high class performer, and an absolute great coup for the club having someone like him play for Essex, and um, it's great for the players to learn off. But also, you know, obviously, we, we're hoping that it will perform well, but obviously, time will tell there. But I think. The momentum we've got for these 2020 games, I think, it, well, the way I'm thinking at the moment, I think it, it will probably help us in going to the championship game, albeit a completely different format. We have to we have to adjust very quickly because we've been used to just trying to stick the ball out of the park and try and bowl Yorkers, um, bowl cutters, etc. So now we've got to go, got to be very quick to react to back to the four-day stuff. Um, but I believe we can do that. Um, we've got you know big game against Gloucester coming up. Having said that, I'm aware that there's supposed to be a bit of uh, rain around, which is never ideal. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a shocker this summer for rain. I mean, at this moment in time, the four-day stuff, won one, lost one, drawn the rest. So, um, look, if, if we get a few wins together, you just never know. Back-to-back -back wins in this competition just flies you straight up there. Yeah, plenty of exciting times ahead, hopefully, if the weather allows, James. Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. Thanks for talking to us. Well done again. Cheers, mate.